Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm on the mission to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2025, and your support means everything. So don't be that person who watches but doesn't subscribe. Thanks for being here, and let's jump right in. Hello everybody, yes, it's with ya, and welcome back to another tutorial on the Twin Plays channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to make uh, just the shop stand. It's the shops, the NPCs, everything just like that. Um, so we're gonna go straight into that. It's honestly a simple tutorial. It might be a little long because I'm not actually just gonna give it to you. I'm gonna make it with you. But of course, all the links are in the description, so I'll leave the model down there and it will be on my Discord. Um, I don't want to instill anything from my base. But yeah, if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. It means so much to me. Um, but we're gonna get straight into this. Um, as you can tell, I'm actually in the Brain Rot game. Uh, Brain Rot, still Brain Rot right now because um, I just need to check like what it looks like. I kind of forgot, but um, I don't even like really play this game. <laughs> I just, but um, I started playing it a bit ago, but we want to look at it, okay? So um, I did hear there are some spins, wheels, and some other updates in the V3 version um that golden milk released but like i said guys um all the links are in the description so go get them and discord links as well but we're just gonna be making like this today like we're literally just gonna be making a shop um design and then having to do with the npcs the npcs we're gonna do a little different but um i just want to show you guys how we can make it and like i said everything will be in the description um but yeah so best things to do honestly is um I just take my picture i want to take a screenshot of this so i'm just gonna go right here Take a screenshot and we should be good. Oh, this guy's stealing. This guy's stealing. Oh, no. Oh, wait. That's pretty sick. This guy's cooked. Um, but, yeah. Okay. So, uh, um, going into this, we're going to go to studio. And um, this applies to the Robux shop as well. So, you could literally just copy and paste after this and just make the exact same thing. Um, but we'll show you guys how to do that, of course. But um, I'm going to let my guy just go right through here. <laughs> All right, so we're loaded in right now, and um, I'm going to, for reference, just, you know, I took that picture uh, just because I'm going to be building this. I'm going to take this picture and just leave it on my screen so I can see what I'm doing while I'm making this. Um, but, yeah, it's it's basically just, uh, you know, we're just, we're just making stuff right now. Um, so I'm going to quickly uh, go into this. We have shops and just like that. Okay. Um, so not too bad, actually. So I'm actually just going to, I guess I'll just duplicate this base plate for now because be making this based off of this but um yeah so going into roblox studio and building i know you guys have a lot of questions so if you do have questions just leave them in the description because uh, i've been going and talking about all of those things um so yeah anything you guys need just leave me in the comment description we'll get that figured out but okay so uh following this picture um looks like i just had some simple stuff but yeah so i mean if you're new to building too you just it's the best thing to do is you know just practice and practice and practice um, right now I'm using, you know, Roblox Studios, just build tools, but, you know, if you use plugins and go to building tools, like, these are normally the better ways to do it, um, so speaking of that, I'm actually probably just gonna do that, um, but there's also, like, increments and things like that, so, you know, have that how you like it, um, a lot of people do certain things, but, you know, it's up to you. Okay, so, uh, looks like it was just like this, and so, yeah, you're gonna build it out exactly how you want it, so, um, I will build it out technically like the brain rot one right now so let's just see what that looks like um go like this to the base plate um and it's best to do it so if you see right here in my workspace best to do it when it's not modeled or anything so you can just click it and mess around with it and build what you need to build um before uh you know anything is going on but okay so now you go like that move in put it in this corner we'll put it in this corner and like I said, guys, the model will be in the description, so you can just import it into your game, um, as well as actually just, you know, if you want to join the Discord, everything is on there as well. Okay, making the shop is a little more difficult. So what I'm going to do, which is kind of funny, and I don't want to just for the time sake of the video and everything, I'm actually going to go get my Grow a, gear guard, uh, grow a Garden Gear Shop. Um, the reason being is we're actually just going to use this technically, because, um, you know, you, you can. So, um, so Gear Shop... Um, this looks, honestly, it looks good. I mean, it really looks like Girl Garden, which is kind of funny, but I mean, it looks, it's like exactly like the brain rot either way. So it doesn't make much of a difference to be honest. Um, so I'll put this guy right here. Perfect. And then, um, I can actually just, yes, yeah, so I'll call this uh, shop build. We'll just go like this. Put these inside here. 
um, TV part or maybe uh, they throw a garden. And then, yeah, so you see how there is this uh, person. So when it comes to the people, depends how you want to make it. Uh, Girl Gert, I mean, Steel Burner Knot is like this. So it's like an R6 character or like just blocks and they animate it. Um, so you can do that. That's up to you. But um, for now, I'm just going to do it a certain way. But um, let's actually just go over here, Command Shift T, and then I'll select these guys. And I'm gonna make that blue just because. But I'm gonna make my guy a little different. So I have this avatar editor plugin, but you guys won't have this probably because it costs money. Um, but there's lots of avatar editor plugins. You can do anything you want. So if you just like go find one or import an avatar, anything works, okay? Um, but like, I, I'm going to just make one real quick. So I'll call a farm hat. Um, and I want to make it a guy actually. So I'll just get rid of glasses, ponytail. Um, and then I got to get, oh, no way. I got to hit search, right? Where do, you, where do you do this? Apply filter changes. Oh no, that's wrong. <laughs> farm hat. There we go. Oops. What is this? Let me just do that. Farmer are a farmer that works <laughs> let's go and go hat and um not face accessory that's why yeah so i'll just like insert this oh and i should have done another thing but you just go like that looks good and then i'll just go uh you actually go face i'm pretty sure it's just like go like this and i can go and i'll just like i'll just make something funny no, just just like that <laughs> there you go um okay so for the sake of video that's good um okay so now you have the shop build that looks good um and this we can just you can just rename it if you want it's up to you guys but so we'll call it shop call it shop um these don't don't worry about any of this stuff with the anchors or any of that why is there a snap in here that's weird uh, everything should be in Okay, so now we have the shop. So we're going to do the shop first, actually. So going into this, what we're going to do, this is how you, you know, anytime you just come with scripting and any of that, you just got to look at some things, okay? So shop, shop GUI. I think this is just when it comes to the GUI. So, you know, the other GUIs look very nice. This one's okay, but let's let's make it look a little better. So we can go and um, go all the way like this. We'll put the transparency all the way up. Make sure can glides off anchored good we'll go shop gy and i like this but it needs to be a little bigger so i'm gonna go five and five okay just like that um and that's perfect and it should should look good like this actually let's go let's go three and three that's better okay and then yeah actually i want it more centered but okay and guys also as well depending on max distance so this is a thousand so that means they can view it from anywhere if you want to make it so it disappears, you just go down here and make the max distance to like 500 or something. So um, whatever works. But like this one looks pretty cool. So I'm going to actually go and do a UI gradient. So they do a UI gradient. They go um, green. So just like this. And then it goes to like a lighter green. So I'll just go like a little bit like that. There we go. And then rotation, we're going to go 90 degrees. Just go down and boom. Um, that actually looks exactly like Steel of Brain Knots almost. Um, so if you could just compare them, but they have a little bit of a different font, but like I said, that's up to you guys. Um, so, you know, whatever works, this is for Doka. I actually love for Doka. Um, I always use it, but you know, whatever is better, you can even like make it even more bold. So, um, I'm going to keep it like that. That looks really good. Um, so configuration NPC. So this is the NPC. So, um, when it comes to this, the humanoid root part is what they're using. So I'm going to put, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this guy in here. I'm going to call it NPC. And I'm going to set the primary root part to hum root part, which already it is. So you're actually good to just delete this one. If I'm right. Yes. Good to delete it. This one's already in here. Shop build goes inside the shop. So just like that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so the script goes over with everything right here. So it'll be based off of primary part which is going to be basically yeah so the npc right here um now if you want you could also just you know so they're human order parts right here um you could also yeah so i have an open gear shop is kind of what i did here 
Um, so I'm going to delete that. I'm going to detach it. Good, good, good. Um, where is it at? Insert object text shop. Yeah, so this is object text shop. It made it true. Action text open. Okay, so um, it just depends how it looks. We'll see in a second here. But okay. Um, yeah, that should be good. And actually, I should be able just to play it. And it should just look right. Um, oh, wait. Unable to shine on shop NPC. Shop value. Um, that's weird. Let's see. I wonder why I did that. Okay, let me double check. I think it was probably because... Okay, NPC... Shop. Okay, NPC equals shop dot configuration. NPC dot value. Oh, there you go. You gotta you gotta do that. Okay, that's what happened. So thing wrong. Okay, there you go. So you actually have to set the config to just that basically. But okay, so going through here, um, we're gonna walk up, and it looks like this, and then you have shop. It opens it. Okay, so it works. Um, but we want to touch it up just a little bit. We want to make it a little bit better, okay? So we're going to actually add a script that makes it so the, the humanoid actually looks at you. And um, there's animate stuff too, but it's my lit cat. Um, but <laughs> going into this, um, yeah, let's let's do that real quick. So it does look a little weird. It doesn't really match the color theme. I should probably fix that. But I'll go ahead and duplicate in, in a bit here, and I'll show you guys what I mean. But yeah, it's all the same thing. So like Robux Shop. But with Robux Shop, you're going to have to change the script. But I will just make them, and you guys don't have to worry about it later, of course. Um, we'll make the second one in a second here. But So let me actually go grab the scripts from my grow garden real quick and bring it over. Okay, so I actually just, I've, I forgot I have a model kit. So I'm going to unscrew this in Star Player Scripts. And like I said, I'll put this all in the description. But it'll be an NPC handler, and basically we're just going to use this. So um, work in space style, wait for shops, folder, folder. And then there is a characters folder, but we're actually gonna go, um, we're gonna go inside each. Yeah, so I don't remember how I could do this because it's a little bit different. Um, I will just let me pause the video, but we could probably just pop this in the chat, which is easiest. But <laughs> you just go through here, so NPCs get trackable NPCs because it's adding an NPC to the thing by grabbing the characters get children. So it's actually probably best we just do. So there's two shops with NPCs. How do you wait for shop? shops? Local characters is um, folder, and we can do it. We can go through another loop. Okay, wait. Let me fix this real quick. Yeah, pretty sure this works. We're just going inside the shops, grabbing the shop container. NPC should work. Uh, let's just just try it. But yeah, so same thing going. Okay, making the missing parts in NPC. Missing for shop. Uh, missing parts. If you. Wait, let me see this real quick. Um, so go NPC shop container for child. Uh, oh wait, no, this is wrong. Okay, get children. Shop containers, NPCs. Shops, shops get children. Go inside, go NPC. NPC holder and is is a can't do it. Oh, I'm gonna do that. Let me see. Let me let me go swipe here. Let's just double check. Um, but yeah, and guys, you can always use AI to help you out with this kind of stuff. Sometimes that's like a better thing to do, but oh, okay, this guy's not doing too good. He's not moving. Uh, okay, wait, let me pause this and make sure this gets fixed. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it was actually just a simple fix, but yeah, so now it's working. Um, I'll probably change the design of him too. He looks a little bit weird. I don't know why I did a farmer, but either way, now it's working. Now he looks at you. Looks more sense. Doesn't go behind your head. This is what I use in Grow Garden. So, um, it was just a simple fix, guys. Uh, you always have to remember that. When you use find first child versus wait for child, if you use find first child just right away initializing, sometimes it will not load um, on the server side and the client side. So you, you have to change it. So actually what happened was it was finding the right thing. It's just these were find first child, which was just right as I was starting the server, it wouldn't find that because you know it wasn't completely loaded in. So 
that's when you do wait for child to just double check that it's always loaded in. Um, but yeah, so um, going into that, now we have the shop. Super simple. Um, I guess we'll just duplicate it. We can put them right next to each other, to be honest. Uh, might as well. Or I think, you know, they do it on opposite sides. So we'll go like over here just for fun. Make it look better. Um, we'll go like that. And then we will call it. Uh, then we'll actually what we're going to do um, is we are going to. Let's do this. Robux shop. And then we're going to drag this into here. Delete the old script um this should be called robux shop um as well oops um so robux shop okay and shop dry doesn't really matter but you can just call it robux shop like this so we'll go uh robux shop that looks good um and then yeah with the gradient i think this one was like a pink one if i was right so i'll go like purple i'll go down to like a lightish blue like that so robux shop okay um and then we have that configuration same thing it's just going to be this npc in here um npc is good human group part okay that should work um so now we have the robux shop and that should open up the robux shop and then the same thing goes for npcs you can always mess around with these um i mean it's up to you guys like i don't know if there's like a hill of brain yet let's just see like oh, there probably isn't or like probably yeah there probably isn't a thing oh wait this is a face i wonder if there is a Oh yeah, I heard still they're not. Like you literally could do some funny stuff, but um like I could put a backpack on him, do whatever. I could go in here, I could get rid of his farmer's shirt or his hat. And uh and then like I don't know, what, what you know, just mess around. Um I'm gonna like get a shirt for him because I don't like these shirts. Uh like oh, there's always like let's go like brain rot. There's gotta be some brain rot thing. Come on. Um maybe pants too. I just saw Roblox. Huh. Well, either way, like if I insert this. Oopsies, we got some other one. You gotta make sure you click them. I'll just like do my favorite pizza shirt because it's funny, you know. Um and then pants. Let's do that one. Once again, I didn't click it. Uh, I'll just drag it in here. Okay, so there you go. I got the Robux shop now. Um, okay, so let's just double check it that it works and make sure. Um, but now we can go over here and you should be good. Um, okay, so I'll just hit play. Just double check. And the reason you have to double check this too is you want to make sure both of them load in and they uh, look at you or whatever. But um, yeah, there we go. So, okay, so shop's working. Open shop does that. Um, looks pretty good. And then we'll go over here and we have the Robux shop. We got this little nerdy guy over here. And Robux shop works. All right, you guys. Um, that is pretty much it for this tutorial. Something kind of simple. Um, just more of a building and like making, touching things up. Uh, I have a lot more coming and a lot more tutorials coming. I know a lot of people were asking a lot of questions and there's some bugs and stuff. So I'll be fixing those. Don't you worry. But yeah, this will be in the description. Um, so if you need the link, everything's down there as well. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.